Slaughterhouse Five, a la Schmuck. Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five is a realistic depiction of what happens during and after war. It has violence, trauma, alcoholism, and alien abductions. Wait, alien abductions? We don't usually hear about those on Veterans Day. But Billy Pilgrim is snatched away by the Tralfamidorians to live and mate in their interstellar zoo. Uh, you won't find that in any history textbook. What is going on with Billy's trips to Tralfamidoria? Well, take a look at when this book is set. It's the 1960s. Everything is trippy and psychedelic. And chances are, if you weren't listening to Yellow Submarine, you were thinking you lived in one. It's a tie-dye state of mind. You dig? Ooh. Billy's groovy visions are just a result of the times. He doesn't exactly have a firm grasp on reality. Far out, bro. However, despite Billy's tenuous grasp on the real world, these spacey trips are very real to Billy, and the Tralfemidorians teach him some valuable lessons, like how time is totally predetermined and unchangeable and there is no free will. Yikes, that would have us crying ourselves to sleep in our cage if being in a cage didn't have us crying already. Maybe by valuable lesson we mean bleak and depressing lesson. Either way, who cares if it's all in his head? As long as it's him and not us, right? <laughs> well, real or not, maybe it's all just one big metaphor. The Tralfemidorians are a lot like the Germans during World War II, except without the funny little Charlie Chaplin mustache that Hitler ruined for everyone. Those aliens strip Billy of his choices and his clothes, take him captive, and make him subject to their rules and their reality. He's trapped like an animal in a zoo. They make him relive his World War II experience, and there's nothing he can do to stop it. It's the sci-fi version of post-traumatic stress disorder. If Billy was an actual monkey instead of a human experiment, PETA would not be too happy about this. Back to reality, everyone. Buckle your seatbelts. What do you think about Billy's trips to Tralfamador? Are they trippy hallucinations? Are they part of Billy's weird sci-fi fantasy? Or are they just far-out metaphor? And what do they mean? Tell us. Come up amongst yourselves. Don't be shy. We all live in a yellow sub.